Hey everyone, here's a question. I got this question from comments. So the question is, one fourth of a number exceeds one fifth of its exceeding number by three. Find the number. So we don't know this number, and whenever we have to find out an unknown thing, we're gonna assume a variable. So we're gonna assume this number to be a variable x. We can take any variable, and I'm assuming here the number be x. So let me write down that. So let the number b x now we're going to read the question once again so we have given that one fourth of a number exceeds one fifth of its succeeding number so succeeding number of this this is x is a number and succeeding number will be the next number right the successor of it which will be x plus 1 if 5 is a number its successor will be 6 right 5 plus 1 which is 6 the next number so we're going to write down the succeeding number here so this is the number is x and then the succeeding number will be so succeeding number will be equal to so the number was x it will be the next number which is x plus 1 now we're going to frame the equation so what we have given 1/4 of a number means 1 by 4 of of means multiplication of a number means 1 by 4 into x succeed succeeds means it is more it is more of 1/5 of succeeding number so what is 1/5 number it is 1 by 5 of the succeeding number so succeeding number is x plus 1 so i'm going to put this in a bracket is 1 is 3 so this will be equal to 3 so this first number is succeeding like so not succeeding it is exceeds exceeds means it is more than this number by how much by 3 so if this number is more than the second number by 3 which means we have to subtract them now suppose i say that 8 is uh, 8 exceeds 5 by 3 means 8 is more than 5 by how many number by 3 numbers right so if i subtract 8 and 5 i'll get the answer 3 same way so here also the first number exceeds means it it means this number is more than the 1/5 of the succeeding number by how much by 3 so it will be equal to 3 so you have to subtract this two now we we got a kind of a equation here we're going to solve the equation get the value of x so i'm going to open the brackets here so 1 by 4 into x so it will become 1 into x will become x by 4 so we'll get here x by 4 minus here it will be 1 Into this is a multiplication, so one into x plus one. It will be x plus one. So x plus one by five is equal to three. Now here you have learned we cannot subtract the fractions, right? We should have a like fractions, like the denominator should be same here. So they are not same. We're gonna make it same by taking LCM. So LCM of the denominators that is four and five is equal to twenty. I am not showing the LCM here. I hope you all know how to find out the LCM. So LCM of four and five is twenty. So now I am going to change the denominators equal to twenty. It's like you are finding the equivalent fraction of these two uh, two fractions uh, where denominator is twenty. So you have learned that how to find out the equivalent fractions. You have to multiply the numbers. So but with what number? I am going to explain you that. So here I have x by four, right? But I want twenty in the denominator. So with four, what I should multiply to get twenty? It is five. So I'm going to multiply five in the denominator and also in the numerator. So whatever changes you're doing in denominator, you should do it in the numerator too. Then minus. And now here I have a five in the denominator. So with five, what I should multiply to get twenty in the denominator? So it is four. So I'm going to multiply four in the denominator and also in the numerator. And this is equal to three. Now I'm going to I'm going to solve this on the next side here. So this will become 5x upon 20 or 5x by 20 minus. Here I have a bracket, right? I have to open the brackets and I have a 4 outside, so it will be 4 into x, 4x, and then 4 into 1, 4 plus 4. Now I'm going to keep this in a bracket. I'll tell you why I'm keeping this in a bracket uh, because. you can see there is a negative sign and this negative sign is meant for the whole number that is in the bracket it is not this negative sign is not meant for only 4x this minus sign is for the whole bracket so i have to keep this in a bracket 
Now you can see we have a denominator 20. They are like fractions, so we can subtract them. So subtract the numerator. So this will become 5x minus in the bracket 4x plus 4 upon 20 or by 20 is equal to 3. Now open the bracket. Now you can see that I'm going to do two things in this step. Uh, one, I'm going to transpose this 20 to the other side. You can see that I have only numerator and denominator. So here I cannot do it because I have a two two fractions. I have only one single fraction where I have a numerator, this one and denominator and is equal to three. three. In that case, I'm going to transpose this 20 to the other side here. Okay. So now 20 is in division and goes to the other side, it will become multiplication. I'm going to multiply this. So this will become 5x minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 3 into 20. Okay. I'm going to solve this in the next page. So here we got 5x, I'm going to rewrite this equation 5x minus 4x plus 4 is equal to we had 3 into 20 there. So this is the equation we got. Now open the bracket. So 5x, I have a minus sign there, right? So minus into 4x will be minus 4x and minus into 4 will be minus into 4 plus 4 is there. So minus into plus will become minus. So minus 4 is equal to 60. Now I'm going to solve the like fraction and I'm going to transpose this minus 4 to the one side. I'm going to bring all the constant to one side and the variables to one side. So 4x and uh, 5x are on the one side and minus 4 I'm going to transpose this to the other side. So this will become 5x minus 4x is x or 1x is equal to 60. The signs will change when you transpose, right? It's negative, it become positive, it will become plus. 60 plus, one, uh, 60 plus 4, it will become 64. So x is equal to 64. That's it. So this is a number we have to find out. So that's it. I hope it is clear this question. Now if you want to check your answer, you can cross check your answer. So 64 is the number we got here, right? You can uh, substitute in this uh, and you can get the uh, and you can check the answer. This is the equation we got, right? This equation, you can solve the LHS part and you can see if you got the answer 3 or not. Let us do that. It's not necessary but I'm just showing you in case you want to check in your exams if the answer is correct or not, you can check it out. So in the previously we got an equation that uh, x by 4 minus x plus 1 by 5 is equal to 3. Now I'm going to substitute the x value in the left hand side that is LHS and I'll see if my answer is equal to RHS or not. So x value is 64, so 64 by 4 minus here x plus 1 is 64 plus 1 which is 65. So 65 by 5 is equal to, you can cancel 4 and 64 in 4 table, 4 ones are 4. This is 4 ones of 4. I am cancelling the 6 here. So 4 ones of 4. So 2 will be remainder. I am going to write down 2 here along with 4. So 24. So 6, uh, 4, 6 is 24. I got 16 here. In case you do not know how to cancel the numbers, you can divide. You can just do a normal division. You can just divide 64 and 4. You can solve the, you can get the answer. I have uh, here uh, 5 and 65. And this is 5 ones are. And 5 13 are is 65. Okay, 13, 5 or 65, right? So I'm going to cancel that. Now I have a 16 minus 13. So 16 minus 13 is 3. And that is what we got. And this is same as the RHS. So you can see that LHS and RHS are same, which means your answer x is equal to 64 is the correct answer. So this way you can cross check your answer. It's not necessary. They have not asked in the question. But if you want, you can do it. So I hope this question is clear. In case you have the question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.